Hey, what's going on YouTube and my subscribers? <clears throat> Today I'm going to be releasing a, um, a request by a certain YouTube user that just recently subscribed to me. His name is Brandon Smith. Uh, he asked if I could upload this um, in green screen. Um, it's pretty much the same thing. It's an alpha transparency, so it's just drag and drop without having a key. Uh, so let's go ahead and import the stuff. All right, so once you get your stuff imported into After Effects or whatever program it is, uh, we're going to want to do straight unmatted, OK? All right. Now, there's going to be two separate files, uh, one of the actual paratroopers coming down and then the C-130s flying by which will make it easier for um, editing. Um, I'm also going to show you guys a quick tip on how to use this. Um, it didn't really come out the way I wanted when I rendered it for this uh, um, subscriber, this new subscriber, Brandon Smith. Um, so let's go ahead and start. Um, I just grabbed this image off Google, Google Images. So let's go ahead and take a look at what we're working with here. Okay, so as you can see, the uh, camera is slightly angled. I didn't mean to do that. That's my bad, but it's nothing you can't correct uh, within uh, After Effects by using the rotate tool, of course. So, you know, we got some C-130s flying by. You know, you got, you got a little invasion army coming in. And also we got the uh, paratroopers right here. Um, these are roughly, I think I, I set it at I'm not sure if it was 15 seconds or 10 seconds. It's 16 seconds. Um, so let's go ahead and start. I'm going to do this as fast as possible. Um, I'm not going for expertise here. It's just a quick overview of how to use this properly. Um, so um, if you wanted to motion track your footage, oh, excuse me. If you wanted to motion track your footage, you could and totally put that on top of it. Um, let's go ahead and put it in a comp here. Uh, this is in 1280 by 720p. Uh, Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and drop this in right here, and then we'll go ahead and put it... All right. <clears throat> so, as you can see, we got this, uh, this nice little line formation of, you know, C-130s coming in. So what we can go ahead and do is we'll go ahead and rotate this about right there. Oh, yeah, that's pretty good. Okay, we can drag that up right there. Okay, essentially what you would do at this portion is you would mask out the area, of course. So I'm just going to do this really sloppy. I mean, this is this is really quick. I'm kind of in a hurry. I apologize for that. All right. All right, so that that was pretty that was pretty sloppy. I mean, I'm not really going for looks today. Um, so, you know, we got your C-130s flying by right there. Let's go ahead and extend this out a little bit. There we go. Wow, look at, look at that beautiful mask formation right there. I mean, that just looks lovely. You got some C-130s crashing into trees, you know. So, all right, we got our C-130s flying by right here. So, uh, again, I'm not going for, you know, perfection here. Um, so we got those C-130s. Let's go ahead and add those paratroopers now. Let's go see what these look like. All right, whoa, that already looks pretty awesome. Look at that. So let's go ahead and rotate that as well. You know what? I'm going to go ahead and transform this. Just use the same rotation I used on the um, C-130s. Look at that. It already looks pretty good. So let's go ahead and put this on bottom because uh, that's one mistake I made on that invasion... Uh, invasion... Uh, uh, effects I did was, uh, you know, someone made a comment saying that it looks like they're they're coming above them. Um, <clears throat> yeah, they do, but, you know, you have to pretend that there's, you know, probably other C-130s from the top and they're dropping the paratroopers, you know, or these C-130s have already dropped them off and, you know, whatever. So we got our, you know, nice little animation here. You know, you got the paratroopers. They're not that great. So let's go ahead and add some color correction to this. Let's go ahead and uh, I'm going to use Mojo. You can use whatever you like. We're going to make this, you know, I'm going to make this look kind of like a classic, you know, like maybe it's like a D-Day type feel. We'll go ahead and add that there. Kind of make it look like that. Warm it. Ah, uh, yeah, that looks pretty cool right there. Yeah, there we go. 
All right, so we got ourselves a nice little, um, you know, color correction here for the uh, the theme. All right, let's go ahead and color correct our uh, our C130s. All right, so we're gonna go under color correction. We're gonna go to curves, and we're gonna we're gonna do this as nice as possible. Okay, maybe drop that down a little bit. Bump that down. Bump the green down. All right, that looks decent right there. That blue is a little too high right there. Let's put it down. All right, that looks okay. That looks all right. We're going for that type of look. What I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm going to add a um, a blur because I mean, you know, when it comes to CG, you want to match as much as possible when it comes to you know, whatever footage you're working with, so, oh man, that looks too purple. Um, you know what, I have an idea. Let's go to effect, color correction, we'll add black and white. Looks okay. Maybe they're gray C130s, you know. Maybe maybe they're not green. They're gray. Uh, that's what's good about um, alpha transparencies. Like when you can mess with the colors. So uh, that looks okay. So let's go ahead and uh, make this look a little better. Let's go ahead and add a camera lens blur to that. That's a little too strong. Let's bump it down to about maybe 1.5. Better. So you know that. I mean, you know, when you see an airplane, I mean, it's not. You can't really see the full detail, right? So let's go ahead and copy all this, uh, what I just did. Let's go ahead and put it onto our paratroopers. Boom. Look at that. That looks pretty cool already. You know, besides the mask, I'm really sorry that I'm kind of in a hurry tonight. So, uh, but yeah, so we got, we got ourselves a, a little C-130. You know, you probably could, you know, add some smoke. You know, let's, let's go ahead and check that out. You know, without having to, to mask anything or, you know, get into full detail with this, um, Let's go ahead and uh, add. A, this is something that's off of already my um, stock footage that I've given out. So let's see here. All right. So let's go ahead and use this right here. This is the most recent one I use uh, uploaded, which was the explosion. All right. So say that we, you know, we mask that out or whatever. You know, maybe maybe these uh. These C-130s are coming over a battlefield or something like that. You know, this this is just a quick overview of how to use this. Um, again, I'm really sorry that you know it came out angled in such a way where you're gonna have to actually correct it within After Effects. But uh, this was a request by a subscriber. So, anyways, guys, I hope you guys enjoy this. And um, if this is your first time coming across my channel, why don't you go ahead and hit that subscribe button. I frequently upload animations, visual effects, and free stock footage. So if you guys want to check out that channel. Um, also, there's going to be a link below to that invasion that I made, uh, which was back in, I think, March or something like that. So you guys can check out that video clip or whatever. But all right, guys. I'll talk to you guys later. See you.